Let's define the difference between helping and enabling our kids. Helping is when you do something for someone that they can't do for themselves and it's occasional. For example, my daughter was at work one day and she called and said, hey mom, can you pick up my dress from the dry cleaner? I'm going out tonight, I wanna wear it and I don't get done until four and the, place close, the dry cleaner closes at four. Would you be willing to do that? Absolutely ha happy to help you out. That's helping. Enabling, on the other hand, is when you do something for someone else that they can and should do for themselves and it becomes a pattern. For example, you have a son who lost his job, so you are helping him pay his rent on his apartment because he could afford it and then he lost his job and then he couldn't afford it, so you were helping him out. But then he gets a second job and he needs shoes and he needs a pair of pants for whatever this job is and you buy those things for him. After a week, he loses that job and you continue to pay the rent because he can't afford it. And after the second job loss, he's feeling very defeated and can't find it, isn't looking for another job or isn't doing it fast enough. You continue to supplement him financially and do things for him that he can do for himself. It becomes a pattern that's enabling. And when we enable our kids, we put them in a position of thinking they cannot do things for themselves. So it's very important to support your kids by letting them know that you believe in them, but not doing for them what they can and should be doing for themselves.